and thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday go-to salad dressing. This dressing is easy, it is fast, and it is extremely healthy, homemade from scratch. All you need is apple cider vinegar, preferably with the mother, some good extra virgin olive oil, first cold pressed is preferred, three to four lemons depending upon size, half a red pepper, one whole red onion, some sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, a lemon squeezer, a good knife, a liquid measure, a tablespoon measure, and a blender. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I make our everyday go-to salad dressing, stay tuned and here we go. As always guys, I try to use as many organic fresh ingredients as possible. First thing we're going to do today is cut up our red onion. I always peel off the outside layer. Once peeled, we're going to go ahead and quarter that onion. And then we're just going to toss it into our blender. Now I used to use a Nutribullet blender for this and that works perfectly fine as well. So if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you may recall that during the holiday season I was able to uh, get this Vitamix blender at Bed Bath & Beyond for about 60% off. It was a phenomenal deal. I would wanted one for about 10 years. It works beautifully and I use it at least once a day, usually twice a day. I actually make my coffee in this in the morning. So um, if you guys want to see how I make my coffee, let me know and I'll be happy to share that with you as well. Once our onion is in our blender, we're going to start cutting our lemons. We're just going to have each lemon. Now I use three to four lemons depending on their size or depending on what I have available to me. I normally would use four lemons because these are on the small side. However, this is what I have today and I need to get my dressing made for the week and so this is what I'm using. Next we're just going to use our lemon press and we're going to squeeze the lemon juice and get as much of that juice in there as we can. And you guys, I've actually broken several of these before. <laughs> I don't know how, but I have. Maybe I squeezed too hard, or I don't know my own strength. Next, we're gonna add our salt. And I use pink Himalayan salt here, but you can use sea salt, uh, preferably not table salt. So about a tablespoon of salt should do the trick, you guys. I don't usually measure, as you guys already know from previous recipes that I've done for you but feel free to measure out a tablespoon until you know how much salt you really like in yours. Next we're going to add about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar again like I said preferably with the mother. Try to look for that and I always shake my apple cider vinegar up really well and just pour that over the top now make sure you cover your blender and just give them a light chop. Now I've blended everything together lightly. It's not soupy, but there's still chunks of onion in there and that's how I want it. What we're going to do now, and this is the key point for this dressing my friends, we're going to let that sit and marinate. Let all of those flavors marinate together. Let the apple cider vinegar do its magic with that acid and really bring out the flavors. This is going to add a really nice punch to this salad dressing. It's going to give it that zing and that wow. Now let it sit for 15 minutes and we'll come back to this in just a few. All right guys, we've been marinating our red onion, apple cider vinegar, salt, and lemon juice for about 15 minutes, give or take, and it should be ready to go now. What we're gonna do next is chop up half of a red bell pepper. I'm just gonna give that a rough little chop. 
All right, guys, now minus the red pepper, once you have your base here ready to go, you can really get creative with the salad dressing, and that's what makes it so simple and so easy. Once you have the basics down, you can add any vegetables you want. You can add just about anything you want and really punch up that flavor and make it your own. My husband and I both love cilantro, so I put in a really good hefty bunch of cilantro into our dressing. I'm gonna give that a rough chop. Stems and all, my friends. And I'm just going to drop that right in to the blender. You could use parsley here, you could use oregano, you could use any kind of herbs that you like. I change it up every so often, but this is our favorite. And next we're gonna add some really good first cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. I've already measured out about a half a cup of olive oil, so we're gonna add that to our blender. And then I'm just gonna add a few pinches of black pepper. This is a little more coarsely ground black pepper. Everything is to taste, my friends. Now sometimes here I'll add a little bit of garlic or whatnot, but uh, like I said, this is our, our easy everyday go-to salad dressing. This takes me about minus those 15 minutes to allow the base of the dressing to marinate. This recipe takes me less than five minutes to throw together. You have a really nice, fresh salad dressing, really healthy, all wholesome, real organic, delicious ingredients. And now we're going to blend it up. Again, make sure your lid is on tightly and blend. Now we prefer our salad dressing to have a little bit of, of uh, kind of a chunky goodness to it. We don't want it completely soupy and blended, but if that's the way that you prefer your dressing, if you want it to be really a kind of soupy, liquidy, you want everything really well blended, you don't want any pieces of cilantro or whatever herb that you've used, then go ahead and blend it really, really well. Also, if you want your dressing to be just a little more creamy, go ahead and add an avocado or two. That will create a really nice creamy texture to the dressing. And with all of these other punches of flavor in there, you're really not going to taste the avocado if you don't care for that flavor. And there you have it, my friends, an easy, fast, delicious, homemade, healthy salad dressing. I hope that you guys try this recipe out. And if you do, or if you try any of my recipes out, please feel free to tag me on social media and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from you guys as always. Thanks so much for taking this time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. And I'm so grateful to have you guys here. Thanks for watching. If you'd like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button, my friends. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Would love to have you as part of the Brands Beauty Boutique family. Thanks again for joining me in the kitchen today, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.